Hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're going to make a baked potato, but it's going to be a twice baked potato. What I did, I got two fairly large russet potatoes. I've already washed them, scrubbed them down, dried them out. What I do is I like to use a little olive oil on the potatoes. So I'm just going to put a little olive oil on my hand and we're going to rub it on the potatoes like that and then we'll do one more. Just get them, to, you can't put too much on here. I'll just add a little kosher salt to them. We're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Just put a little kosher salt. This kosher salt uh, gives it a good flavor, of course, salt. And it also dries the skin out a little bit and makes the potato a little crunchy, which is, I like the skin of the potatoes anyway. So let's do that. Let's turn this over and let's do this side. Just a little kosher. Don't use iodine salt, just use the kosher. It's the best salt for this. All right, so let's put these on our cookie sheet. And like I said, we're going to put these in here for about 45 minutes. We're going to check them uh, 45 minutes to an hour. They're going to be done. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. So let's check our potatoes to see if they're done. These are pretty big potatoes. And we had them in here for 45 minutes for at 400 degrees. And I'm going to take the tops and just cut the top part off the potato and we're going to use all of the potato today. So we got the tops cut off our potatoes, we'll set those over here. So for our twice baked potato today, we're going to use about two and a half tablespoons of butter, uh, about a fourth cup of sour cream, a fourth cup of bacon, uh, about the same amount, fourth cup of green onions, an ounce of white wine vinegar, and a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. The milk, it, we're just actually making mashed potatoes that we're going to add back into here. So the milk, it doesn't matter, you just add a little bit till you get the consistency that you want. And we're going to use a little salt and pepper. So let's get started. And what we're going to do is take the potato out of here. So just put our spoon in here. And we're going to make kind of a little boat and get all this potato out. And you got to just, you know, be careful that you don't break the skin, which I do sometimes. But when they're soft like this, they're, they're really easy. If you try to uh, do it the other way, it's, it's hard to get this out. All right, so we got that. Just add a little bit of milk and we'll just add a little bit at a time. Butter in. We're just making mashed potatoes right now is what we're doing. And when you make these twice baked potatoes, pretty much everything is the same. The only thing that I do differently is I add the white wine vinegar. It just gives it a tangy taste to it. So that's what, and if you look at most recipes, it's the same thing that I'm doing right here, except they don't add the white wine vinegar. Put the bacon in. We're gonna do our sharp cheddar cheese. And I think I'll just set this over here on the side because I'm gonna use a fork again. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt in. You know, when you pour pepper, you go like that, it really doesn't come out. So here's what you want to do, watch this. Who would have, who would have thought? Coming together pretty good. Twice baked potato. All right, about ready to add our vinegar. That's an ounce of vinegar, I think I said that. And then we're gonna put some sour cream in here. And it doesn't matter uh, really if you wanna put 
less green onions or more green onions or less bacon or more bacon. I really can't see anybody that likes bacon putting less bacon in, but you can do that if you want. So this is coming together really good. So what we're going to do is add our potatoes back in. in. You got to put that vinegar in there. That vinegar gives it just a really, really good flavor. So I'm going to take, set this here. I've almost forgotten my cookie sheet, which I'll set over here. Uh, let's do this one. And all we have to do is put these back in the oven. We just want to kind of melt the cheese because they're heated up already. They're kind of warm. And what I want to do now is add a little bit more to it. All right, now let's put this back in the oven. I got the oven already set at 400 degrees. I'm going to drop it down to 350. We're going to put this in the oven for about mm, 10 minutes. Years ago, when you went to a restaurant and you looked at the appetizer menu, almost everybody had potato skins on the menu. Today, I go to restaurants, I haven't seen potato skins on a menu and I, I can't remember when. But what I like to do here is when I have the tops of these, I already got the mixture here. I just put it in here. Stack it on here like this. And what we're really doing is we're taking the tops of these and making potato skins. And what I do is I, I put them in a freezer and put them in a freezer bag and just stick them in a the freezer and let them sit there until I'm hungry for a potato skin snack. Take them out of the freezer, pop them in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes and you're done. So there we go, there's our potato skins. Stay with me, we'll be right back. All right, got to get my hands washed. We've had, uh, I said put the potatoes in. I think I said put them in there at 350 for about 10 minutes. Uh, actually, I was doing something outside and I forgot. So they've been in there about 20 minutes. So let's check on them to see if I screwed them up. Well, they look pretty good. Actually, they look a little bit better. So here we go. Our twice baked potato. And that is hot. This pan, this is really hot. But look at these potatoes. Look how good they do. They look great, huh? So let's just see if we can take a little bit of this out. You know what? I'm just going to smell of these. Mmm. They smell so good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.